Roddy Gap. Good afternoon, as it is here in uh, New Zealand, where I reside these days, uh, along with my the love of my life, my young uh, teenage now daughter. And just recently I've updated my exploits uh, back in the day when I was the Thai private eye, the Bangkok-based detective. Um, a small agency I started, um, which came about through being asked uh, by a lot of uh, tourists uh, to look into inquiries for them, to do some work for the likes of the New Zealand and the Australian embassies. Uh, and at the time I'd be managing hotels in, in the kingdom, initially in Koh Samui, later in uh, Chiang Mai, and eventually in Surin on the Thai-Cambodian border. Um, a huge hotel there, 400 plus staff, of which I think two spoke any English. So consequently my knowledge of Thai, and to some extent Khmer, uh, improved rapidly. And that was to prove very influential and very helpful in my uh, detectiving skills throughout the kingdom. So uh, this book is twofold. Apart from being hopefully entertaining, uh, it also, I hope, highlights some of the, the good and the bad, if you like, some of the scams to look out for. Everything is as it happened. It is 100% factual. There are one or two cases where similar cases were combined to, to complete a story. But by and large, it's all as it happened. And although most of the cases do date back uh, up to 10 years now, uh, I couldn't write a lot of them earlier because of um, you know, people still being involved. So hence the delay. But in most cases, the uh, events, the happenings are current today. So I hope that a new generation of uh, people visiting Southeast Asia, and in particular the Kingdom of Thailand, can learn something from this book. And um, as you travel about the Kingdom, hopefully there's a few pointers that you can uh, pick up, a few things to be aware of, and also a few places to look forward to. Because I did cover the Kingdom from, from uh, Chiang Mai in the, in the north, as far as, uh, of course, right down to um, Suratani and, and points further south, uh, Hat Yai, etc. So I would advise you, um, whether you're traveling to the kingdom on business or pleasure, to enjoy the wonderful hospitality of the Thai people. Uh, if you dare, get out of the tourist places, see some of the real country, particularly up north, Isan, um, if you want to visit a temple, my favorite was always Kaupanamrung, which is uh, located near Buriram, about uh, an hour and a half's drive from Karat, uh, where young uh, novice boys are taught as they have been for thousands of years uh, in that famed temple, which is a part of the Khmer uh, Highway that uh, runs from the great Angkor Wat in Cambodia through to Kaupanamrung. Uh, and holiday wise, well for me I'm afraid Pattaya, I only went there under sufferance for, <laughs> for work, but I found Cha'am, um, a very nice laid back uh, seaside resort. And of course the island of Koh Samui, um, much more commercial these days than it was when I first managed a hotel there on uh, Chiwang Noi back in the um, around 1990, but uh, nonetheless um, an idyllic island. So that's a brief outline of my background, obviously for the well-being of my uh, daughter who was born in Bangkok, um, I found it wise to, to give up the um, lifestyle of a private detective which had its, had its moments and uh, now happily retired in my native New Zealand. So I wish you well, hope you'll 
enjoy reading the book and get something out of it, a benefit. And uh, as they say in Thailand, chok di.